Auckland Museum has a second Tyrannosaurus Rex. Peter is being joined by Barbara, only the third confirmed female T-Rex skeleton in the world. And as Adam Hollingworth reports, the museum will become the first in the world to display two T-Rexes at once. Peter and Barbara roamed the US Midwest only a few hundred kilometres apart. Now, 67 million years later, their journey has brought them together at Auckland War Memorial Museum. The first presentation of a, of a full adult male and female Tyrannosaurus rex together, that's a world first. I think that will just boost our engagement and visitation even more. Barbara died older and bigger than Peter, aged 20 to 30, 11 and a half metres long and pregnant. In fact, they can't be sure Peter's male, but analysis of the medullary bone proves Barbara's female. And inside there, they found deposits of calcium, and calcium is really important in the creation of an egg. So this is the third time that we can say definitely that not only was this a female, but it was a female in the egg-laying um, cycle. And these bones tell another story, one that could answer the question of how T-Rexes lived together. Barbara's metatarsal was broken so severely she should have died sooner. This would have immobilised her completely. It would have taken a very long time to heal, but the fracture has knitted again and healed. We can see this in the bone evidence. Immobile for months, but surviving long enough to limp on and mate again. Did she manage somehow to scavenge other carcasses somehow? Or did other members of her pack or other T-Rexes support her during this period of immobility? Questions at the cutting edge of debate between paleontologists whose only other evidence that T-Rexes might have worked together is footprints. There have been records where there are obviously several T-Rexes living and working together uh, including adults and juveniles. So there, yeah, there is some evidence that, that um, she might have been looked after by, uh, by the pack. Like Peter, Barbara was air freighted from Germany in eight crates to be built like a kit set model. But some of the pieces had to be recreated from scratch. So they basically figure out all the bones, they then figure out what's missing, and then they make casts of those bones um, from other T-Rexes that have been found. And then basically they build the armature to put it all together. It'll take another day to rebuild Barbara, but the museum's happy for visitors to go and watch the delicate process. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.